Hi, I'm Ben Hublin, Chairman of the U.S. Election Assistance Commission, or EAC. This video is part of a series of webinars that will assist the state and local election officials who complete the 2020 Election Administration and Voting Survey, or EVES. This is an important project that collects data on election policy and election administration from nearly 6,500 election jurisdictions across all 56 states and territories and the District of Columbia. Many states rely on their local jurisdictions to contribute EVES data, and county, parish, township, and other municipal election officials play an important role in this project's success. This webinar offers practical advice on the tools available to assist state and local jurisdictions in submitting their EVES data and advice for state officials who are responsible for coordinating their state's EVES submission. In addition to this video, the EAC and its implementing partner, Fors Marsh Group, can assist you with any questions or issues you have in completing your EVES data collection. Thank you for watching and for working to complete the 2020 EVES. Hi, I'm Raymond Williams, a research program specialist at the U.S. Election Assistance Commission, or EAC. I'm Krisha Gregorowitz, a senior researcher at the Fors Marsh Group. This webinar is for election officials from states that rely on local jurisdictions to contribute data to the state's EVE submission. At least 30 states will rely to some degree on their counties, parishes, towns, or other local level jurisdictions to submit 2020 EVE's data. The EAC has designed processes and data collection templates specifically to assist these states. While jurisdictions may contribute EVE's data, ultimately each state's designated point of contact, or POC, is responsible for coordinating the state's EVE's data submission, reviewing it for accuracy, submitting it to the EVE's project team, and certifying the submission as final. This webinar is intended to help state POCs understand the tools that are at their disposal and learn advice about how to coordinate the data collection process with their jurisdictions. One of the biggest challenges that state officials often have with EVES is gathering data from local officials and compiling it into the state submission. In previous EVES, some states have created their own data collection tools to do this, but the EVES project team now provides a centralized online survey to assist with collecting data from local jurisdictions and aggregating it into the state's EVES data submission. We refer to this as the online template. If your state's collecting significant amounts of data directly from local jurisdictions, we highly recommend you use the online template to do that since this format has several advantages. First, the template allows local jurisdictions to submit their data fully online. It's compatible with all the most common web browsers and doesn't require any special software to access it. It also ensures the security of your data because each jurisdiction has a unique password to access the online template. The format of the online template is also very user-friendly. The layout of questions matches the layout of the paper survey, so jurisdictions that use the paper survey to help them compile their data will have an easy time transferring that data into the online template. It's also very easy to navigate between the survey questions in each section of the survey. A save and continue button located on each survey screen will automatically save all data that has been entered, which means local officials can complete the survey in multiple sessions if they need to. All of these features make for a really smooth experience for local officials and cut down on the time they need to spend re responding to the survey. The online template also has features that state officials really like. The online template and Excel templates work together seamlessly. When a local jurisdiction submits their online template, the data is ported directly into your state's Excel template, so there's no need for you to copy or paste anything manually. You can review the jurisdiction submissions in the Excel template before you submit your data to the EVES project team. In addition, when it comes to time to finalize your state's data submission in February 2021, as a reminder, data is due on February 1st. 
your jurisdiction's online surveys will be unlocked so that they can go back in and make any changes or necessary data corrections. In addition, the EVES portal can help you keep track of your jurisdiction's progress through the online template. The state files page of the portal, which requires you to log in with your state's credentials, has a table that lists each of your jurisdictions and their survey status. Whether the jurisdiction hasn't started the survey, is in progress, or has already submitted, along with the percentage of questions completed and a timestamp of when the jurisdiction last accessed the online survey. For more details about how the online template works in conjunction with the Excel template, we invite you to review our data template user guide on the resources page of the EAMS portal. This user guide gives step-by-step -step instructions for using both templates, and we invite state officials to share this user guide with their local jurisdictions if they plan on using the online template. The online template also allows state officials to customize parts of the template. For instance, if your state can answer some EVES questions with data from your state's centralized database, our project team can pre-fill those responses into the online template or if your local jurisdictions do not need to provide any responses to one of the survey sections, we can hide the section that your jurisdiction does not need to complete. If you want to customize the online template, please reach out to the EVES project team. These customization requests will take between five and seven business days to complete. For more information on customizing the online template, see the third EVES newsletter and the data template user guide, both of which are on the resources page of the EVES portal. While the EVES project team was building the online template, we completed testing with local officials from six states. Those local officials gave us some great insight on how state officials can support their local jurisdictions as they complete EVES. One of the most common pieces of feedback we received was to notify local officials about EVES as early as you can and share the survey questions with them so the local officials know what data they'll need to provide. If your state needs to collect EVES data directly from local jurisdictions and have not yet notified the local jurisdiction officials, do that as soon as possible. We also recommend you send them the PDF of the EVES survey questions that's on the EVES portal. In addition, communicate often with the local officials you're working with. Send them reminders of upcoming deadlines and use the progress report information you can get from the EVES portal to help you see which jurisdictions might need a little extra assistance. Use any communication tools that your state makes available for jurisdiction officials to communicate with each other, like listservs or online discussion forums, and make sure they know who in the state office is available to answer questions about EVES. Next, you may need to provide supplemental instruction to your local officials. For instance, there could be some EVES questions where the question's terminology doesn't match the terminology you use in your state. Your local jurisdictions may also need advice on when to respond data not available or does not apply to an EVES question. Or your local officials may appreciate having your guidance on how to pull certain numbers from state or jurisdiction databases. If you provide supplemental instructions to your jurisdiction, We'd appreciate you sending a copy to the EVES project team as it will help us when we review your state's first data submission. If you plan to customize the template, let your jurisdiction officials know about it. Tell them which items have already had responses or which sections of the survey they won't need to complete. Also let jurisdictions know how your state office and the EVES project team will be reviewing the data. You can share some of the EVES newsletters that discuss these topics with the jurisdictions. And most importantly, carefully review the data that your jurisdiction officials provide before you submit the data to the EVES project team. You should make sure that the data accurately reflects your state's election laws and that the numbers match with what you expect. Ultimately, the state will be responsible for certifying the jurisdiction submissions as accurate and complete. Thank you for watching this webinar. EAC is excited that EVES data collection is underway now. State and local election officials can visit the EVES portal to find more information and resources about the project. 
and state officials will use the EAVES portal to submit their data to the EAVES project team. You can also find the additional webinars in this series on the EAVES portal. If you have any questions about EAVES, contact the project team at eaves at forestmarshgroup.com. Thank you for working on this important project.